take a piece of metal, look at it, and start looking and figuring out what you can do with it. Well, it depends on what it is. You can look at it, study it a little while, you know, cut it there, cut it there, and then make that, and you know, it comes into something. I grew up in Mill Hill. When I was a kid, I was making stuff up. Yeah, you know, I ain't never had no spirits in welding. I just had to have something welded one night and I couldn't finish the job without getting it welded, you know, so I had to learn how to either do it or didn't finish the job. I just had an itch to make something, just started making something up. I just get my parts from you know, scrap yards, junk yards, anywhere I can probably find something, but a lot of times you get people bring stuff up and drop it off. Well, one time I went off and come back, there was about four bicycles laying down there. You can't ever tell when you go off, something might be laying here. And if you throw it away, I'm gonna put it in something, make something out of it, recycle it, make it a whole lot better than going to the dump. Well, somebody threw this old drink machine away, so I made a uh, door to my office out of it. Gears off a bicycle, somebody's gonna throw them away. So, I just made something out of it. I just called it a flower. Just don't throw nothing away. I just like make something up and let them look at it. The fun's making it. After you get it made, it ain't no good no more. <laughs> well, let's see. You just get more enjoyment out of making it than you do selling it. Pigs, I made a bunch of pigs up. Now you got a couple dinosaurs down there. Right now they're shooting fire. That one's made out of shopping cart. I think it took 32 shopping carts to make it. I think that'll be good at a swimming pool if you had the fire and water shooting back out at the same time. It'd be different. And I also thought about putting a grill inside of one of them and shooting fire out at the same time, sitting there cooking to watch the fire burn. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, I get people coming up quite often. One of them, they go down and look around. Yeah. A lot of people really likes it. Tin man, this thing's about five foot high. It's made out of a road tractor and muffler. That other down there is made out of old car bumpers. Enterprise is made out of whole trough feeders. Just something different. That one airplane I got down there, it's got a washing machine for the engine on it. Anytime I'm sleeping, I'm thinking about making something. It gets in your head, you just go put it together. Sometimes I'll just start welding it up and keep on going, I get something like I want. Now that boat down there's made out of all license plates, out of North Carolina license plates. I was at an auction one time, they had a four or five boxes full of license plates, so I bought them. I don't know, I just started, that's all I know. It's just, you do it so long, it's just like an everyday thing. And it's like a bouquet when you get it done. You always got a spoon with you. Yeah, I made bicycles up. I took, I got one down here, I made, take it and flip the bicycle upside down, and you'd be sitting way up here. Reverse the frame and everything. It's just a little difference, you know. Just do the best you can, what you got, and go on. Well, I always say it's a throwaway society. Throw it away, go buy new. Don't need to throw it away, just bring it by here, and we'll do something with it. Thanks for watching, and if you don't want to miss any more great regional stories, please subscribe to our PBS Charlotte YouTube channel.